Once again, welcome to our Physical Education and Health 2 class or known as HOPE 2 which is stand for Health Optimizing Physical Education. Ayan. So our lesson for today is about Quarter 3, Module 1 which is all about Role of Sports and Managing Stress. Ayan. So for our objectives, we have um, to describe the role of physical activity assessments and managing one's stress and specifically to explain stress and its causes, to discover the role of sports in managing stress, and to recommend sports-related activities to manage stress. Ayan. So what is stress? Okay. So when we say stress, it is a reaction of the body and mind to unkind or challenging life incidents such as tense feelings, worry, and discomfort. So when we say stress also, it is the mental, emotional, and physiological response of the body to any situation that is new, threatening, frightening, or exciting. Ayun. So, ang stress daw ay isang uri ng karamdaman na kung saan nakakaramdam tayo ng pagkabalisa, takot, kaba, pagkabigo, at kung minsan ay nauuwi pa sa depression na kung hindi maaagapan, ay lubhang delikado sa taong nakakaranas nito. Kaya nandyan po minsan, di ba, yung kapag sobrang stress ka na and parang feeling mo um, wala nang solusyon kung ano may yung pinagdadaanan mo. Minsan, andyan yung tendency na nagsisuicide yung isang tao, pinanghihinaan siya ng loob na eh, parang wala na, wala nang pag-asa, parang ganun, which is not good, di ba? Ayan. So, there are, um, this is the effects of stress. First is feeling of anxiety. Ayan, so, nababalisa ka, hindi ka mapakali or something. And then, second is irritable ka. And then, the third one is um, natatakot ka and nagkukosong ito ng headache and stomach ache. Okay? So, most people consider stress as negative experience. But not all stress is bad. Ayan. So, meron po palang good stress and bad stress. So, when we say, so these are the two types of stress. The use stress and the distress. When we say use stress, this is the enhancing influence on our productivity and satisfaction. Use stress or positive stress. Ito si ano na pala, si use stress ang positive stress. Promoted growth and accomplishment and it stimulates you to go on. Ayan. So si use stress po is a healthy form of stress that gives us positive feelings and makes us feel good about ourselves. Ayan. So, si you stress pa ay isang stress na kung saan positive yung impact sa'yo. Okay? Ang usual yung example here in the you stress, yung kunwari, um, na-stress ka sa pag-prepare ng kasal mo. So, kasi ikaw lahat eh. Ikaw lahat nag aasikaso na mga invitations, ng gagamitin, ng venue, ng pagkain. And then after that, kapag dumating na yung time o yung araw na ikakasal ka na and makita mo na nag naging smooth lahat, di ba? Parang, wow, ang sarap sa feeling, di ba? Naging parang accomplishment mo na yung stress mo, okay? So the second one is the distress. When we say naman po distress, this is the harmful physical consequence of stress. Distress or negative stress often causes poor performance. So, ito po yung the bad side ng stress, si distress. Okay, when we say distress, it persistent stress that does not resolve itself despite of our best efforts. Ayan. So, kahit anong gawin mo, parang feeling mo, um, wala ka pa rin ano, tamang ginawa, mali pa rin yung ginawa mo. That's the um, example of distress. Parang yung ginawa mong pag-work hard, parang hindi pa rin sapat, di ba? So, yun po yung distress. Okay? So, now, we have the, um, what are the causes of stress? So, the common causes of stress are stressor. Okay? So, when we say stressor, is it is an event or a situation that causes stressful situations which are seen as risk to the well-being of a person, okay? So, ang pinaka-common causes pala ng stress is the stressor, okay? 
So the stressor is the body responds to stress by secreting hormones that prepare the body to respond to the situation. Okay? So there are what are the common causes of stress naman? Okay? So the first common causes of stress is major life changes. Ito yung talagang um, ngayon masaya ka, kinabukasan parang binagsakan ka ng ng langit at lupa. So example here is death of a loved one. Diba? Major life changes yun sa'yo eh. Kapag nawala sa'yo na nawalan ka ng minamahal sa buhay, biglang may namatayan ka, ganun ba? Diba? Losing a job. Oh, napaka major life changes yun sa'yo eh. Kasi Lahat, ano eh, kung ano yung kuwari, ah, maluho ka, bili dito, bili doon, lahat ng gusto mo na bibili mo, and all of a sudden, nawala ka ng trabaho, and wala kang ipon, di ba? Parang talaga major life changes, kailangan mo mag, mag ano, adjust, di ba? And then, transfer of residence or school, yun, isa rin yun sa major, major life changes, lalo na sa mga estudyante kapag nalilipat ang ibang school. Siyempre kasi panibagong pakikisama, pakikisamulamuha, di ba? Bagong adjustment sa buhay mo. Okay? So, isa yun sa, ano, isa yun sa um, causes of stress kasi parang pinanghihinaan ka ng loob, lalo na pag nawalan ka ng mahal sa buhay. Okay? And of course, yung nawalan ka ng trabaho. Ayan. So, so this, the second one is everyday problems. Problems. So, here is the example is dressing concerns, misplacing or losing things, too many things in mind or physical appearance. Ayan. So, hassle ka, kaya stress that are usually encounter everyday. Diba? Yun yung ano eh, yung kumbaga, um, so sobrang dami mong iniisip, so sobrang dami mong um, na, sa isip mo, hindi mo na alam yung mga dapat mong unahin, yung mga dapat mong gawin. Minsan, may mga bagay ka nakakalimutan kung saan mo na nailagay, kung saan mo na ba naitago, ba may mga ganun eh. And simple thing, kawari, um, kahit yung panunood, itsura mo, pati yun, ini-stress mo sa buhay, ang taba ko na, ang pangit ko na, ba Mga bagay na nakaka-stress sa isang tao. Okay? So, the next one is the physical surroundings. So, isa rin to sa nakakapag-stress sa atin, lalo na yung ano, sobrang traffic sa daan, malilit na tayo, wala tayong masakyan kasi punuan, bigla ang may bagyo, nabaha tayo, di ba? Yun yung mga bagay na um, nagkukos rin sa atin ng stress. Or yung tinatawag nating ano, um, day-to-day stress. Okay? And then, the other one is the other stressors. Okay? So, ito naman po yung, ano to eh, it's about um, involving uh, teenagers talaga to eh. Ito yung, <clears throat> yung parang na-stress ka na, malilate ka lang sa school, nalate ka sa exams, about sa body image mo, or in, parang feeling mo, hindi ka gusto ng peers mo. Diba? Yung parang ganun. Or minsan, kapag meron kayong jowa or aminamaha sa buhay, yung quarrel nyo, yung ano nyo, yun yung isa sa nagkukas ng stress mo eh, di ba? So, those are the common causes of stress. With all the stress around us, how do we handle this stress? Ayan. So, we handle this stress by coping. Ayan. So, coping. Okay? pagkakaya, kinakaya. <laughs> Ayan. So, coping is defined as the capacity to respond and recover from something stressful. Okay? It is an unconscious response to psychological stress in, at, in an attempt to balance mental and emotional conditions. Okay? Ayan. So, both positive and negative incidents need coping skills that will accommodate these changes in life. This include how to behave, thinking of ideas, and controlling emotions to minimize or tolerate stressful events. Ayan. So, in one way daw to cope with stress is to engage in exercise and sports. Ayan. So, isa, ba, isa po daw para um, mawala or ma, makapag-cope tayo sa stress is mag-ano tayo, mag-engage tayo sa pag-exercise, di ba? Or aliwin natin yung sarili natin. 
So, what is the role of sports in managing stress? Ayan. So, here are some benefits of sports that helps us cope with stress. Okay? So, the benefits of sport daw is number one is relieves the body naturally. Ayan. So, it decreases muscular tension, promotes positive socialization, stimulates critical and creative thinking. Ayan, syempre kasi, ano eh, um, naiiba na yung pag-iisip mo, hindi ka na nakakapag-isip. Nabibisi ka na kasi, kasi may ginagawa ka na. So, hindi ka na nag-iisip ng mga bagay-bagay na na, which is nakakapag-cause ng stress sa'yo, di ba? Offers a feeling of fulfillment. Tama naman, di ba? Um, nakakagaan ng pakiramdam yung pag, ano, ng sport. Develop skills, promote fitness, and overall wellness. Ayan. Hindi lang, um, hindi lang nawawala ka sa iniisip mo na ano yung stress mo. Um, nagiging ano ka pa fit, okay? And nakaka-develop ka pa ng skills. Releases chemicals called endorphins which help the body relax, makes you feel happy, and black, black any feeling of pain. Ayan. So, malaki po ang tulong ni sport para po um, makapag-cope tayo sa si stress. Okay? So, kapag tayo po ay na-stress, much better um, mag-sports na lang tayo. Gumawa kayo ng mga bagay. Minsan, di ba, much better na gusto ngayon yung nagtitiktok, sumasayaw-sayaw. Di ba, yung parang aliwin nyo yung sarili nyo. And, <clears throat> um, wag nyo masyadong damdamin yung mga bagay na nangyayari sa inyo. Although, o, oh, um, nararanasan nyo, nararamdaman nyo, but then, um, at the end of the day, kailangan mo pa rin magpatuloy sa buhay. So, dapat, um, i, 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 ano nyo po sa isip nyo na life is too short, so, kailangan nyo pong i-enjoy yung buhay nyo, no matter what, ano man po yung pinagdadaanan nyo, kailangan pa rin po umanap kayo ng mga bagay na ipagpapasalamat nyo. Ang, mag, ang magising lang po kayo sa pinabukasan and to have a new day is a blessing na po. And, Lalo na po ngayon na pandemic tayo, ang wala lang po tayong sakit, yung pamilya natin, yung mga mahal natin sa buhay ay ma nasa maayos at walang sakit. Isang malaking pasalamat na po yun sa Diyos dahil nabubuhay pa rin tayo dahil sa, sa dami ng taong nawawala na ngayon sa mundo dahil sa COVID. Pero well, dapat ipagpasalamat natin ngayon na dahil sa araw-araw na ginawa ng Diyos, pinapatubayan pa rin tayo at pinoprotektahan sa kung ano mang bagay na pwede natin maranasan. Okay? Kailangan po um, kailangan natin learn to accept and be thankful kung ano meron tayo. Okay? Ayan. So now, here are some ano naman, if you are planning to engage in sports or exercise, here are some fitness tips to help you stay healthy and manage stress effectively but take note these activities are subject to have a safety protocols in your area okay kung tingnan nyo po muna yung area nyo before you do this um fitness tips kailangan okay po kasi baka excuse me baka ito pa yung mag-cause ng masaktan kayo or something ha huh? so the first one though is 5 times 30 or 5 by 30, you can jog, walk, bike, or dance 3 to 5 times a week for 30 minutes. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ni 5 by 30. 5 times a week for 30 minutes, okay? Ayan. And then, next one though is set small daily goals and aim for daily consistency rather than perfect workouts. Ayan. So, mas maganda po yung... Um, meron kayong small daily goals. Yung gusto nyo pong gawin or ma-attain rather than perfect for workouts na. Kasi minsan, yun pa yung nagiging cost para hindi natin gawin kasi parang feeling natin, hindi natin kayang magawa yun, okay? And then the third one is find forms of exercise that are fun or enjoyable. Mas maganda po na yung gagawin yung exercise is mas makakatulong para maging masaya kayo. Kasi pag hindi kayo natuwa, May tendency, hindi nyo na siya gagawin. Tatama rin kayo, di ba? 
So the fourth one is to structure yourself with an iPad or other portable media player to down to download audiobooks, podcasts, or music. Ayan. Minsan kasi um masaya or masarap mag-exercise kapag mayroong music kang naririnig, de ba? Kasi parang ang sarap igalaw yung katawan, okay? So the the fifth one is recruit an exercise body. Ayan, much better daw kapag mayroong ka kasama. Kasi pag mag-isa ka lang, parang wala kang ano na, ano eh, tatamarin ka kasi wala ka man lang katuwang or kasama sa ginagawa mo, di ba? And then the last one is be patient when you start a new exercise program. Ayan, kailangan po talaga patient, okay? Pasensya. Minsan kasi parang kagagawa mo lang ngayon, gusto mo na kaagad ng result. Ilang araw mo palang ginawa, gusto mo na kaagad ng, hindi naman parang hindi naman sa akin effective yan, ganito pa rin naman ako. ba diba? Kailangan po natin uh, maging patient, okay? Para po makita natin yung result. Ngayon in the end ko, pag umabot na ng one month in, uh, more than one month at wala pa, ni, pa, wala pa rin nangyari, siguro maybe you can start a new, you can start new or you can do something new, okay? Ayan. So, before we end our lesson, kasi ito na po yung last, ano eh, last topic sa lesson 1 na ito. So, before we end this lesson, let's wrap up these important things, okay? So, when we say stress uli, it is a reaction of the body and mind to unkind or challenging life incidents, such as a tense feelings, worry, and discomfort. Stress is the mental, emotional, and psychological physiological response of the body to any situation that is new, threatening, frightening, or exciting. So there are two types of stress. This is the eustress or the positive stress promoted growth and accomplishments and it stimulates you to go on. Okay? So ito po yung stress na parang nagiging accomplishment mo na. Okay? After mo magawa yung isang bagay. And then the distress or negative stress often causes poor performance. So ito yung nagiging cause kung bakit hindi ka nagiging maayos sa iyong ginagawa. And then um, the causes of all stress is the stressor. It is an event or a situation that causes stressful situations which seen as risk to the well-being of a person. Okay? And then there are common causes of stress. The number one is major life changes. Ito yung um, death of a loved one, losing a job, transfer of residence or school, etc. And then, second is everyday problems. It is addressing concerns, misplacing or losing things, too many things in mind, or physical appearance. And then, the third one is physical surroundings, crowded transportation and going to school or work workplace, street walks with foul odors and unbearable weather conditions. Pati ba naman yun, paproblemahin natin, di ba? Yung kabahuan ng labas or kabahuan ng isang kanal. Di ba yung mga ganun? And then, the uh, fourth one is the other stressors. Being late in class, in class, exams or assignments and reports, issues on body image, conflicts in relationships, and peer pressure. <clears throat> Ayan. So, after that, here is your activity. The learning activity sheet 1. Ayan. So, ito po yung dapat yung gawin. Um, you need to list three stressful situations that cause you to distress and how you handled each situation. Ayan. So, kailangan po magsulat kayo ng tatlong bagay or pangyayari sa buhay nyo po na nag po sa inyo ng stress. Okay? And then, kung paano nyo po um, na-handle yung stress na yun at naging okay na kayo. Ayan. So, the second naman po is list down two sports activities and explain how this make you feel relaxed when you are stressed. Ayan, magsulat daw po kayo ng mga activities sa feeling nyo nakakatulong para ma-release ma yung stress nyo or mawala. Kunwari, dancing. Sport ba yun? Oo, pwede na yun, di ba? <laughs> or badminton, volleyball, ba? And paano yun sa sa'yo nakakatulong? Siyempre, kapag naglalaro ka, nawawala yung isip mo eh. Na, naiiba, ba? Naiiba yung pag-iisip mo. ba? So, those are the, le the learning activity sheet that you need to do, okay? And for that, I will be ending this lesson for this quote that do not <laughs> stress just just do your best. Ayan. ba? Um, wag nyo po stress yung sarili nyo. It's okay to think na kung ano ba yung 
um, kung siguro may mga bagay na hindi magandang nangyari, okay lang na masaktan, mag- magdamdam, ano. But then, kailangan po, um, kailangan po makaisip kayo ng way para makahanap pa rin ng um, paraan or hayaan nyo kung hindi nyo kayang isolve, hayaan nyo yung panahon na mag-solve. And just pray lang po. Pray and tutulungan kayo ni Papa Jesus. Hindi man sa ta- hindi man kaagad in the right time. Ayan. Darating rin yung hinihingi yung kung ano man. So, ba? Diba? Basta ano, um, try to be thankful and happy and always remember that life is too short. So, you need to um, think of every um, possible way or kung ano man yung mga bagay na pwedeng um, makapagwala sa stress mo or mapalitan yung stress mo. Or kapag may naisip kang sad thing, mag-isip ka ng ano, happy thing. <laughs> mga ganun, ba? Diba? And naniniwala ko every um, everything happens for a reason, okay? Kung hindi mo man ngayon nata- na nakuha yung gusto mo, may reason yung kung bakit. Maybe hindi pa yun yung panahon mo eh, ba? Diba? Ganun lang yun, okay? So for now, thank you. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon.